Yup guys, welcome to my channel. It's Room Xblade. And finally, after a long time, I am doing a voiceover video. And um, just ignore the background noises. And so, in today's video, we are going to make a walking animation in Recon 4D. And maybe this is the last video on Recon 4D version 1.5.4 because today is new version is coming like a new update of Recon 4D will come today so let's open a new project and here I will delete this cube and let's add a human I already added a human in presets so if you don't know how to add your model in preset just go to hierarchy here select your model then click on the object and here you will see save button so if you click on the save button your model will be added in presets so let's go to animation here i am and let's let's just animate it so i will start with the leg I'll select these two bones because I animate both legs at once and then adjust the animation of one leg so here in first I'll start with this position and here I'll lock it and I'll make um, a 40 frame like loop so I'll make a make the walking animation a loop so here I'll make a 40 frames loop in 40 frame it will repeat and in 20 it will oops here it's going to repeat so it will be the same frame and in 20 it will go here like this okay so from here it's going here and i am why i'm talking so slowly because here a lot of background noises and i am keeping the mic holding the mic near to my mouth so that's why i am talking very calmly and slowly so from here it's going here and then again here okay so then here okay and then the knee bones here let's add a keyframe here oh here it should be like this i'll keep limit here and at this moment it should be something like this okay and just hold the keyframe to copy then click on copy and then again drag it here the animation process of recon 4d is different from prisma 3d so you can't like after copying you just hold the key and drag one place to another key like one frame to another frame you can't just like paste it here or here you have to copy and then drag drag i mean okay so like from here it will go like this then yeah something like this okay so this is my second time animating in recon 4d so maybe it will be a little bit of weird so never mind that and then the feet like the foot here one keyframe here a keyframe and here also keyframe so let's see if it's changing here not much and here i'll add a keyframe like this it should be rotated a bit more here here okay 
so a little bit weird so never mind that and I'll just select one leg and then first I'm gonna select all the keyframes and then click on the copy button and then hold the animation and drag it to as the first and last keyframe are same so I'll just drag it in frame 40 okay and then I'll select the first 40 frame no first 20 frame and we have to leave the frame 20 and then delete the rest here oops I mistakenly delete that frame too okay so here it is and then it will go to frame 60 and then we have to delete the after frame of 60 so here here and then again select all the frames oops we have to select all the frames here again so recon 4d's ui will change completely today so everything like around here and here will be changed so i'll make a video on that and this will be the last video in this version of recon 4d so okay let's drag it here to frame zero something's wrong here okay let me just undo it So it's going here so this frame will be go no first we have to select all the keyframes okay so this frame will be go in frame one and here recon 4d has a animation bug that when you move a keyframe the other like there is a clone remind of the keyframe so you have to delete that later like this now if i change like remove the keyframe from here to here like it's in 30 so if i remove it here so there is also a keyframe remain so we have to delete it like that so that's a problem like a bug I you could say that it's a bug and here it's in 35 so it will go here and delete it this will go here delete it 46 it will be go on 26 okay delete this keyframe and 50 it will go in 30 delete it this is 60 it will go in 40 okay and delete it so let's see if the animation working or not 
yeah so animation is working nicely i hope and next we have to animate the hands so here let's adjust the hand like this and i'll rotate this part i think i should change the model later because the ringing rigging is not right like here it's small this part and here it's long very okay like this and i'll select both hands then in first keyframe here i'll lock it and 40 lock it again and in 20 select it here and then lock it and this hand will be different so i'll delete this keyframe and again lock it and change these two keyframes so as you can see i i move this keyframe to here but here is also the keyframe left that's the bug and we have to delete this keyframe and then move it here and delete the previous Oops. move it here and delete the previous key okay so i think this should work now but why it's a little bit okay a little bit glitchy type and i'll select this keyframe and uh, lock it here first it will go like rotate this side and then it will rotate this side so yeah okay so i'll just take a keyframe from here and paste it here so okay no problem and uh, the main key like the main bone will be a little bit up like here let me just keyframe it also in here and here then in this here it will be a little bit just a little high okay and this keyframe also will be here okay so now if i i think this will do the thing okay never mind it's a little bit weird but it's okay and now if you want to make this animation longer then let's select all the bones and you can you can use the bug as a like nice feature you don't have to copy the keyframes you can just simply drag the animation but this bugs will work here okay just on this keyframe once then again i just hope it will work and again on on 50 so 5 second animation will be nice and let's play the animation now it's going weird so never mind i'll just take a like from frame 0 to frame 39 and then i'll just loop it in video frame so let's go to camera here i'll add a plane and make it bigger and change the light to sun i mean direction
then rotate it let's see okay never mind and let's now just simply animate it like the render the video so let's add the last keyframe which will be 39 so i can just loop the video so i'll render it so because i am not using reflection and any other thing that's why the render is very fast like prisma 3d so here it's encoding and it will automatically save in gallery so okay and that's it and if you like the video you know what to do and we will meet again in next video so bye